Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Uh, blessings and safety to the whole for let. And this is an article from uh, ABC News. It reads, why more so-called black people are looking for safety and gun ownership. All right. And, you know, I want to say this first and foremost. Okay. You know, Jake, you Jake's out there. Okay. You so-called uh, blacks, Latinos, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indian, you, you have a power to trust in, okay? And we're telling you who that power is and what you need to do to come under that, 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 that safety net, right? You, you come back to the God of the Bible, man. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. By Hashem in the name of his son, Yahweh right? Who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus. Okay? And you repent. And you rehearse these righteous acts. Okay? But see, Jake, their, their trust in, in carnal means instead of spiritual means. And ultimately, this is why Jake going to die. You know, matter of fact, let me just grab this uh, Romans 8 and 6. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So if you believe in that, if you get a gun, you're safe. OK, or you're going to be able to protect yourself in the coming times by purchasing a weapon. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna die, man. I'm not I'm not I'm not doing this lesson saying that, you know, you shouldn't go out and buy a weapon. You know, I'm not telling you that. You know, hey, if you have the if you have the requirements of being able to purchase one, you know, hey, purchase it if that's what you you, you want to do. But you should not trust in it. You know, I know someone who has a. A, a certificate to carry, you know, and, you know, he calls it uh, his unreliable, man, because he know that it's untrust, it, it can't, it, 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 it's untrustworthy, man, okay, he knows that he cannot put all of his trust and faith in it, okay, let's read a little bit of this article, it says, uh, two days after he so-called white man shot and killed 10 so-called black people in Buffalo last month. Michael Moody reversed his thinking about possessing a firearm. He had watched the aftermath of the carnage on the news, the anguish of victims, families, and decided he needed a gun. Needed, not wanted, he said. After discussing it with his wife, Moody said he left his home in sub suburban Washington, to buy a weapon. He quickly learned he wasn't alone. He said he was stunned at the number of so-called black people standing in line at the gun shop in Maryland to make the same similar, same similar purchase. You know? And, you know, hey, man, <laughs> because this is where, 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 where Jake uh, feels, you know, safe and, 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 and comfortable. You know, once Jake, once Jake get a gun, you know, Jake, he feels safe. He feels protected. You know, look at this nigga, man. Philip Smith, founder and president of the National African American Gun Association. You know, this nigga looked like he don't, he trusting this, his weapon, man. He, this nigga don't look like someone who trusts in the Lord, man. You know, he's, he's got that proud look. Okay? But, hey, man, this sword is Esau's blessing. Okay, Isaac, when you go into the book of Genesis, Isaac gave Esau, okay, hey, the sword as a blessing, you know? So, hey, that's, that's Esau's blessing, okay? 
But hey, you know, for all you jakes that that have this this mind frame of 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 being able to trust and have faith in in, in a gun, man, <clears throat> you're gonna die, man. And the scriptures say that the, the, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man, right? But hey, man, shit, the Lord gave us, you know, what we need to be able to withstand uh, the things that are coming, right? Hey, the scriptures say, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. That, that, that wisdom and knowledge is what's going to keep us stable, not a gun, man. You know, wisdom... Is 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 more is more precious than 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 a firearm, man. All right, this Ecclesiastics nine and eighteen it says wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroy of much good. So wisdom is better than weapons of war, man. Okay. So so you, you, what you Jakes need to be seeking after is wisdom. If wisdom is better than weapons of war, you should be seeking after wisdom. But see, Jake is seeking after that sword, man. Uh, this is Psalms 44 and 6. It says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Okay? You know, I wanted to speak on the nigga uh, who goes by the name uh, Black Rambo, man. You know, this nigga, he's, uh, he has a channel. Where he, you know, shows off all of his weapons. You know, he goes to, you know, gun ranges and, you know, places where they have, you know, acres of land and he shoot them. And, you know, he, he you could tell, you know, this nigga trust in hitting his weapon. Well, guess what? He's going to die. I just read it. You know, for those who are carnal minded, it's, it's death, man. You know? But it says, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me, man. Okay? Because there's only, you know, one name, and the scriptures say that, <clears throat> given amongst man, whereby uh, we must uh, be saved, right? This is Acts 4 and 12. <clears throat> this is Acts 4 and 12. And it reads, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that name is Yahweh Wah, okay, Yahweh Shah, okay? Who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus, man. Okay? Because hey, the Lord is the one who saves, right? Let's just grab this real quick. This is Proverbs 21 and 31. All right. It says, the horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord, man. <laughs> you know, safety is of the Lord. Okay. See, this is the problem with Jake, man. They don't understand who's the person, who's causing all of this, man. Okay. Who's causing... Uh, you know, who who has, you know, power over life and death, man? Who's who's the cause of the evil being done around you, man? Okay? Hey, the answers are right here, man. This is Amos 3 and 6. It says, Shalakia, Amos 3 and 6. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city... And the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Okay, that evil has been done by who the world ignorantly calls God, man. He has power. Hey, the Lord say what, man? <laughs> Let's go to the book of Isaiah, man. Isaiah uh, 45 and 7, man. It says, uh, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. Okay, let's go to Deuteronomy. Let's go to Deuteronomy 32. <clears throat> and um, 39, it says, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. 
So hold on. If if the Lord is the one causing these things to happen, where shall where where shall you go, where, where where shall you go to to find safety and protection? Okay, where shall you where, where shall you go to the Lord, man? Right. Proverbs three and five. It says, "Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not." Unto thy own understanding, man. So you're supposed to trust in the Lord, man. Okay, it says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil, man. See, a lot of these things, all of these things are happening unto people because they're living a wicked life. Okay? They don't fear the Lord, man. This is why judgment befalls them. But there's no escaping judgment. Okay, the scriptures say, hey, let's get the uh let's get uh Sirach, the, the 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 fifth chapter, real quick, for all of you, you know, for those who you know feel safe or secure, okay, once you know <laughs> they got that that sword on them. <clears throat> This is Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter 5 or 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off day to day. See, that's what our people should be, you know, doing. You know, you know, they should be, you know, repenting, coming back to the Lord, man. You know, they doing all that shit in vain, standing in gun lines, you know, going to purchase weapons. Okay, that's they doing all that shit in vain, man. It's, just, it's simple. Come back to the Lord, man. Change your ways, right? You know, Jake want to, you know, work overtime, you know, so they can purchase weapons and purchase food and things like that, man. No, man, that's and you doing that in vain. The scriptures say righteousness delivered from death, man. Not your gun. Okay, not how much you know money you have. Hey, if, if if a gun and and, and money uh, was was a uh, was to be able to deliver you deliver and protect us in the time to come, or from the Lord's wrath or the Lord's, Lord's judgment, then hey, man, we we wouldn't be able to uh, afford a uh, afford a protection or safety. You know, shit, man. I know I wouldn't. If, if safety and protection had a price on it, I wouldn't be able to afford it. You know? But this is, like I said, it's a rock five and seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and end thy security. Okay? When you feel protected, when you feel comfortable, when you feel at ease, when, when you feel the most safe, safest, you know, that's when the Lord loves to get you. It says, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perished in the day of vengeance, man. You know? I want to end in the Psalms, man. Hey, he said, I will not trust in my bow, for neither shall my sword save me, man. <laughs> you know? But let's go to the Psalms uh, 146, man. Psalms 146. Uh, verse 5, it says, Happy is he that hath the, the God of Israel, the power of Jacob, for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, his power, man. So happy is he, man, that put his trust and faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. Okay? Because he, he hey, the Lord ain't going to let you down, man. So, hey, you know, I hope this was edifying. Um. Uh, I want to uh, end giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.